Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to make a wooden lightsaber without using a lathe. For materials, we're going to need a bit of wooden doweling. This is 21 millimeter wooden doweling. We're also going to need a variety of scrap wood in different thicknesses. Some blue masking tape. Don't know what this stuff is made of, but bloody brilliant. Way better than normal masking tape. For tools, you will need a drill. And don't worry, I'm not going to tell you to make your drill into a lathe. It's a great way to lose either a finger, an eye, or a drill. Some hole saws. They're the thick metal ones, not the, the really thin tin can hole saws that you can buy. Definitely worth getting one of these. The amount of hole saws that I've, the other type of hole saws that I've broken is ridiculous. Explode randomly. And uh, also, some clamps to help hold the wood down while you're cutting or drilling, sawing holes, sawing holes with a drill. We'll go with that. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is get one of your hole saws and match it to the outside diameter of the piece of doweling that you have. And then we're gonna cut a bunch of holes using this hole saw. We have our holes cut out with this hole saw. Now what we wanna do is cut another hole around it to make a wooden ring. If you just go for it like this, that drill bit doesn't have anything to go into and it's really hard to get it a nice circular ring. But I've come up with a plan. What we're gonna do is we're gonna use some of the offcuts from this piece, slide it onto the drill bit there, use that as a spacer to keep us centered when we're drilling the next set of holes. Still a bit of wobble in it and that's because of the amount of wood that's been cut away by the actual saw. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put some tape around this piece to, take, uh, to fill in that space. Now I'm going to tape it around this way, same way that the saw is going to be moving so it doesn't unravel itself when, we're, uh, when it's spinning in the hole. So I've wrapped a bunch of tape around that piece of wood there and now we've got a nice, nice fit there. Now I can put that on the end of this and there we go, ready to cut our next set of holes. All right, so once you've drilled out a handful of rings, the next thing is everyone's favorite step, sanding. Lots and lots of sanding. So once you've sanded down all the rings, you can start sliding them onto the dowel to build your lightsaber hilt. Now you can take your time with this and have fun, slide them on in different combinations, and figure out what you think looks best. You can also leave a gap right down to the dowel to have a really small diameter section of it. I think that'll look cool. But of course, it's up to you. So once you've come up with a combination that you like, it's time to glue them in place. Now, I'm just gonna use super glue for this, but uh, you could use PVA as well, that would probably work, but it'll take longer to dry. But yeah, the best way to do this is to slide them all up a bit, and then start pulling them down, gluing them in place from that end. Glue one, put some more glue on, slide it down, glue the next, and keep going until you get to the top. Next thing to do is find some small little wooden bits and stick them on as wooden greeblies, just like this. I found some pieces. Found a way to sand them down nicely as well. If you wrap some sandpaper around the hilt and then move the piece up and down along the shaft, right, uh, you can get a nice curve on it and get it to uh, stick nicely, just like this piece here. Yeah, look at that. So once you're happy with that and happy with all the greeblies and the ways it's looking, Next thing to do is to paint the blade, if you so desire. I have used some normal acrylic paint, watered down a bit, and used that to stain the blade of my lightsaber blue. I almost said green, but it is still definitely blue. Anyway, once that's dried and you're happy with the hilt and everything is good, time to seal it. I'm just gonna use some clear sealer. You don't have to use spray varnish or anything to finish it. You can finish it however you want. Use some oil, whatever. Uh, but there we have it. Wooden lightsaber made out of scrap wood using no lathe. Um, thanks for watching. Subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh. Lame.